Hello and welcome to this new video in the Scala programming playlist. In this video we will learn a new concept or a keyword name null. Let's get started. So the first thing that we'll do is create a variable val x is equal to and assign the value null to it. Now have a look at this closely. The value which I'm assi assigning is a value null. This is a keyword complete in lower case. Null for now in simple terms you can think of as absence of a value. Very simple. I'll execute this and we will see what do we get so here the value which is assigned in the variable x is null but have a look at the type of it the type of it is also null but look at the difference between both here the type the n letter is in uppercase whereas here on the right hand side in the value null it is in lowercase so what do we get often when we say this is the variable colon after this is the type of it so the type of this variable is null and this is the value so don't get confused both are null but how will you differentiate on the basis of there are two things which you can at least see how those two things are different one is before equal to and after the colon this is the type of it as we write any other variable for example y is equal to hello so usually what do we get is after the variable name colon we get the type so this is nothing but the type so the type is always in uppercase the first letter null and this is the value and on the right hand side so always on the right hand side you will get the value that is the second thing on the left hand side before equal to you will see the type the data type so this null on the right hand side is the only instance of this type null that's all you have to remember there are few things about null you should be definitely knowing in Scala and what this is what we are going to see so the first thing you will remember is the only instance of the null type is the value null now if you try to recall the Scala type hierarchy that we saw we had any at the top and the two subclasses immediately well any val and any ref under any val the bottom most uh, thing in that hierarchy was nothing the type and on the right hand side we had null so if I scroll down let's say I have a variable let's say let us call this as num and I'm using explicitly specifying the data type is equal to 12 this way so what is this this is any val remember on the left hand side we had double float care int etc so all those were val types and on the right hand side we had class which we have not yet seen second was option which we have yet to see and another was list that list is uh, comes under any ref string also comes under any ref so what we are going to do is take a string variable let's say str1 and in this I will assign for instance uh, let's say hello to start with so here you see the data type is string that's fine now let me convert this to a mutable variable where let's say str2 is equal to initially I store hello but later on what I do is since I am using a mutable variable I am going to change this value to null run this so yes string values can uh, string data types can be set to null why because string is a reference type whereas the values like int bo uh, boolean uh, sorry int float double etc cannot be set to null I'll give you an example so that you understand this so where let's say a is a and purposely I want to declare the data type of this initially let's say whatever the value was so this is integer now if I say a is equal to null and run this so here you will get an error an expression of type null is ineligible for implicit conversion why this is the case is because try to recall that uh, Scala type hierarchy again on the right hand side the bottom was null on the left hand side the bottom type was nothing so you cannot assign a null value to any val types int boolean uh, sorry int double float all these are val value types any val belonging to the any val class you can assign the null value only to any ref components in the case let's say I take a list for example 
val lst and declare the data type as list of for example integer is equal to can I assign a null value to this yes you can why the reason is because list is a member belonging to the any ref types so keep that in mind now coming little backwards here we had a mutable variable str2 initially set to hello then I set to null that's fine because string also is under the category of any ref or reference type now we know if you want to access the first element what can I do I, I can use the indexing that we have seen few videos earlier let us try to access this and see what happens now you see the current value of null is set to uh, uh, sorry the current value of str2 variable is set to null now null means what absence of value there is no you know value in it so when you're trying to access the zeroth element which is the first element or the character definitely since there is no value you will not be able to access it but you will get a very specific error called as null pointer exception now there could be many causes why null pointer exception occurs this is one of the most dreaded errors as it is said and we will try and learn how to avoid this how to also restrict the use of null as far as you know you should try and avoid the use of null so that you don't get the uh, null pointer exception and this could occur simply because since the str2 variable reference was set to null there was nothing in it hence you could not access any element of it neither you can run any methods on it or functions so as simple as that and hence you will get a null pointer exception and this is one of the most talked about things as far as the exception is uh, concerned for now think of exception just as errors in simple but going forward we will s very soon learn about how to handle those exceptions so exception in short also can be termed as uh, it is just you know uh, a break which is happening in your execution and an uh, ex uh, ex uh, expected error has occurred just simple for now we will see how to counter those but keep in mind about these things just to summarize the only and only instance of the null type is this lowercase null in simple terms null means absence of value second is you cannot assign null value to variables whose types is of any val like int integer boolean uh, sorry the float double etc you can assign the null value to only any ref types like list option and classes etc so and when you assign a null value to string and when you try to access any element of it you will get null pointer exception keep that in mind this was an example how we are assigning null value to list why this was acceptable is because list is an any ref type so that's it for now we will also see how to counter the null pointer exception further and there could be many other ways why null pointer exception is occurring but this is the essence simply means null means you know absence of uh, any value and you are trying to access some component of it or method or element of it which doesn't exist hence you will get that null pointer exception that's it in this video thanks for watching and stay tuned